pictures. It's almost like it's a party. It is a party in, in many sense. And no one relishing the moment more than the president saying, I ordered uh, his death to be the highest priority. I determined, uh, I received word that there was a clue. I determined there was enough intelligence last week. I ordered the team in. You know, he is, he is taking ownership of the role of the man who finished the job. Uh, George Bush called himself a war president. Uh, Barack Obama can call himself in many ways the man who you know, took the step that uh, ended the war, at least symbolically. I mean, a few questions here, When What was the clue? We don't know. Mm -hmm. How uh, was it uh, developed over the month? What was the development like last week that led the president to determine that he had enough intelligence to go ahead? How was bin Laden killed? How was he hunted down? Who was he with? Who was protecting him? Uh, what role did the Pakistanis play in all this? This is a, a, a story of great intrigue and mystery. There are an awful lot more questions to be answered, and it's just the sort of story the American audience loves. It has a great ending. He's hunted down by agents of the state that were attacked by the man who was killed tonight, or uh, yesterday. So it's, it's in every respect uh, 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 an ending that everyone hoped for, uh, include, uh, including and most especially the president himself. And by targeted operation, what does that mean? This is the stuff that, that, means, that means he set in an assassination team to kill Osama bin Laden. He hasn't been coy at all over his presidency in saying that, you know, we remain committed to hunting down and killing bin Laden. He hasn't been word. Uh, he has made it very clear that this is a, a policy objective of the United States, and he's revealed tonight that he had ordered the director of the CIA to make it the highest priority, uh, which explains the intensification of the predator strikes over... Uh, the last couple of years in the tribal region. But, of course, it turns out bin Laden was deep inside Pakistan itself. And there's another question. What was he doing in Pakistan? Uh, we've been led to believe he was in this mountainous area that was so inaccessible. He was inside the country of Pakistan. Who tracked him down? Was it the Americans or was it the, was it the ISI, the Pakistanis? They, they are being credited for helping us with this uh, by the president or helping the Americans with this by the president. But... Uh, he's making it clear that they played a secondary role, and one almost thinks that their role was to just get out of the way and let the Americans do what they wanted to do and not obstruct them, which they have been accused of doing in the past. Right. So it's, well, it, just it a, was, a quick update that now. As we mentioned, uh, U.S. President Barack Obama spoke earlier this evening, uh, gave a press conference to confirm Osama bin Laden is dead. They have his body. There was a targeted attack. Here's just a little bit more of what he had to say tonight. Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of al-Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. So shortly after taking office, I directed Leon Panetta, the director of the CIA, to make the killing or capture of bin Laden the top priority of our war against al-Qaeda even as we continued our broader efforts to disrupt, dismantle, and defeat his network. Then, last August, after years of painstaking work by our intelligence community, I was briefed on a possible lead to bin Laden. And it took many months to run this thread to ground. I met repeatedly with my national security team as we developed more information about the possibility that we had located bin Laden hiding within a compound deep inside Pakistan. And finally, last week, I determined that we had enough intelligence to take action and authorize an operation to get Osama bin Laden and bring him to justice. Today, at my direction, the United States launched a targeted operation against that compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. A small team of Americans carried out the operation with extraordinary courage and capability. No Americans were harmed. They took care to avoid civilian casualties. After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden and took custody of his body. So he's very clear there that he has directed the intelligence, he has directed the, uh, the attack, he has directed the cooperation with, uh, with authorities and assistance in, uh, uh, in Pakistan. Um, and we were hearing from George W. Bush, remember, who said so long ago that he was going to track him down dead or alive. It's taken 10 years. George Bush has sent out a statement tonight calling this a momentous achievement. It obviously is. 
Joining us is Terry Molesky, our senior correspondent now traveling with Stephen Harper. Obviously, this is very much a Canadian story. Two Canadians were killed. Uh, the Prime Minister is going to be speaking. What, what are you hearing, Terry? Uh, Wendy, it seems likely that the Prime Minister will speak in just a few moments uh, to try to associate himself fully, uh, wholeheartedly, and quickly uh, with the American operation against Osama bin Laden. As you point out, Canadians too died at, in 9-11. 24 Canadian lives were lost. Uh, he will like to, uh, likely remind Canadians of that fact, of our involvement in this atrocity and in the reaction that followed in Afghanistan. Uh, however, it's a bit of a delicate job writing his statement because of the timing. Uh, he won't want to be seen as overtly trying to cash in or seize political advantage uh, out of this uh, because uh, that, there, there might be a temptation to do that, of course, because uh, Jack Layton, his principal rival now in the election, uh, has been calling for troops to be brought, brought home, whereas Mr. Harper and the Liberals both want to leave at least a training force in Afghanistan. So probably there will be a temptation uh, to point that out, but maybe to have, to have others pointed out rather than Mr. Harper himself in his statement. But there's no question that he will want to congratulate uh, the President and the uh, U.S. Special Forces or the CIA. We're not clear exactly who did it. Uh, but he will want to congratulate them to associate all ca Canadians with the rejoicing over the death of, of bin Laden.